Hello, I'm Greg Rod K, Rod K Mods, and welcome to another unboxing video, this time in my dad's man cave. And all this mess you see here was his mess. I haven't touched it. Um, so yeah. But um, I got this giant box right here that I can't carry upstairs or carry next door currently. Um, I've got to figure out a way to haul it over there without killing myself. Because uh, it is very, very heavy. In fact, I slid it into here because it's that heavy. And I wanted to unbox it. And also, I can't unbox it upstairs because I just rescued a husky, um, eight month old, that um, needs to adjust. And she's a sweetheart, but she's going to get in the way of filming this. So we're going to be filming it down here and I'm going to be listening for dog trouble upstairs. But anyway, I know I'm cutting off the top of my head and I apologize, but this is not going to be the only unboxing we do. There's also a box right over here that you can probably see, I think that's the box, uh, that will also be unboxed. But what do we have in here? This is one of my Holy Grail Macs I've ever wanted. And um, I finally got the Kanga. Now I've got another G3, the G3 AIO, AKA the Molar Mac, the uh, Power Mac G3 AIO. And it was only for the education market. It was essentially the eMac before the eMac, and the eMac eventually did get released to the consumer market, but this never did. So only schools and, you know, educational places had them. And uh, so I finally got an AIO, and hopefully it's in one piece because you can never get these in one piece. And I'm hoping this one is. And then over there in that box is the basically rarest Power Mac G5 ever made, one of the neatest Power Mac G5s ever made, in my opinion, and also one of the crappiest Power Mac G5s ever made. Um, and we'll be unboxing that too, so let's get to it. All right, so we're old schooling this today, and uh, shaky cam is enabled. Um, and I also have poor lighting and stuff. Like I said, I never have my filming equipment over here. I need to actually bring some over here for these videos. But right now we're going to unbox this. Um, I didn't do the signature unboxing knife flip. It didn't even click. There we go. Uh, so we're going to be unboxing this. I, I'm hoping it made it one piece. It's it's in good shape. The box is in great shape. So we're going to try and see what happens. So. Close the knife. And we're not going to be powering this on today just because the dog upstairs, I am a little concerned about her. And uh, also it, it's hard to find places to actually plug stuff in down here. Although you see tons of wires, there's not really many places to plug anything in. So, yeah. So, yeah, FedEx packed this. They did a pretty good job. I think it's it probably survived. We got the ADB keyboard. It's in good shape. It's got Waukegan Public Schools tag on it. So this was from where I bought this from. I bought this from Eric Funderburg uh, from Wisconsin. And this finally got out of the state of Wisconsin, apparently. <laughs> so here's the original keyboard, power supply, the ADB mouse, as we can see there. There's the AIO, it's got one crack in the top and I'll be right back, I gotta see what's going on. Okay, I have no clue what they were barking at, but here is the AIO. And other than that crack in the top, which was probably there before, I don't remember, um, it's in pretty good shape. 
Uh, these things are made out of such cheap, crappy plastic that even the translucent, this by the way, was one, this was the first translucent Mac. Uh, even the translucent pl plastic's crap. So, but it looks like it survived. I know we're complaining over a few cracks here and there. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down and lift this out in the box, and we'll take a quick look at it. Okay, so I thought, since it's calm upstairs, let's quickly power on and see if it works. I uh, paid Eric Funderburg, um, um, I'm sorry if I'm saying your last name wrong, uh, I paid him a good premium for this thing, uh, so it would come in one piece, and it's in one piece. These things are notorious for not working at all uh, because they'd overheat, things would break and stuff. This is essentially a Power Mac G3 tower with a CRT monitor on the front, uh, top of it. Um, and it's got two headphone jacks, a zip drive on some of them. This one doesn't have one. It's just got a blank in it. That's not a drive. It's got a floppy drive, a uh, CD drive. It looks just like a regular CD drive. And yeah, well, let's power it on and see what happens. We we'll hit the keyboard power. The keyboard power doesn't work. It's completely stuck. Oh yeah, might help to turn on the power supply. <laughs> I forgot that. Now, keyboard power. Keyboard power. There we go. And I, I'm sorry if the refresh rate doesn't match. It probably won't. So this might give you a seizure, but I apologize in advance. We are booting into... Mac OS 8, maybe? I think that's what it came with. I don't think this thing's ever been updated. But my future plans for this thing is we're going to upgrade it to my um, Sonnet uh, G4 500 card. We'll put a zip drive in it. We'll put uh, try to put a DVD burner in it. We're going to try to make this thing run Leopard. That should be fun. Pram battery's dead. I think there is some um, buttons getting stuck here. I see here. System profiler. We've got the base model 233 with 96 megs installed and it is working. So I'm pretty happy. What Which OS is this? 8.1 so yeah neat so now we're going to go do a quick tour around it, and then we'll unbox the uh, g5 and we're not testing the g5 i'm not hooking that up but we tested this it works uh there are some things that um need addressed but i think are pretty easy to fix so yeah anyway let's tour so here is the g3 molar mac and it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I could never remember what these slots are for. They almost look like they're for styluses, which I know is not right. Uh, I don't remember what those slots are for. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to actually unbrand it, probably. I'm just going to leave it as the school computer it was. But we're going to upgrade the heck out of it. And there are some cracks. Remember, this is a crappy plastic. Um, this button right here, the volume button, is uh, kind of broken. I don't think it actually works, which isn't a huge deal because you can still do it software. Um, but I think uh, it's pretty easy to fix um, if I've read online properly. And this is on a tilt stand and swivel. I think it swivels. It's not swiveling. So, <laughs> yeah. And this thing weighs a ton. This is like having an EMAC. 
hold it a lot harder to move. <laughs> okay, so on the back, this thing was made for about six months, I think, from uh, early, I mean, uh, late uh, 97 through mid 98. I think they stopped it in uh, May, maybe. This was made April 2nd, 1998. Um, this is just the back of it. I am considering maybe upgrading the board to a Revision 3 Power Max board. Although, come to think of it, this, I think, is a Revision 3 Power Mac board. Um, is it? No, it wouldn't be. Um, so I might put a Revision 3 Power Mac board in here, but this is literally a Power Mac board. Uh, you can put the personality card in here, put the wings card in here for multi-AV and stuff, and it's got three PCI slots, just like a regular Power Mac. And that's, that's literally it. It's not too much to look at, and it's pretty darn ugly, but it's a really neat system. And it was ahead of its time in some aspects, even though it kind of looks like a butt. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we're going to unbox the G5 and wrap up the video. All right, so here is the G5 upside down because the address is written all over the top of it in marker. Yeah. Um, so this might be interesting to open. I hear packing peanuts going all around in it, and I have this weird feeling it didn't survive shipping because the top of the box is really crushed in. But we're going to see if it did survive. Uh, I hope it did because I paid probably five times what it's worth. Um... But it was in mint condition. Um, it's probably not now if this box is any sign of it, but I've been surprised before. Um, and what's in this is a single 1.8 G5. Uh, and it's known as the least powerful Paramac G5 ever made. Even the single 1.6s, I think, had more power than this because this board is based off of an iMac G5 board. It's a really strange board, and, uh, well, you're going to see it in a second, so let's open it. It's hard to do this. Oh yeah, um, I wouldn't be really surprised if this survived because I don't see any real packing. Now, there's a problem here. Um, in a regular case, if you had a Sparic G5 case laying around, you could just swap them out. This board will not fit in any other case. So, I am extremely mad right now because how much I just paid for this. Let's finish pulling it out. I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so I just finished taking pictures for my new eBay claim. Oh, I'm not happy. As we can see here, my camera is not tilted. It is. And it is not in great shape. But hopefully it still works. That's the main reason why I wanted it. But I'd love to have the original mint condition case I paid for. I'm going to stay calm. I'm not happy. But I'm going to stay calm. <clears throat> So yeah, as we can see here, it's really screwed up. <sighs> but yeah, this, I believe, was only sold for the education market, too. And no schools bought it. I don't think it was ever available for the public. And the public would have never bought it to begin with. 
um, because <laughs> it's it's very underpowered. But it's a neat system. I'm just not happy. It's not in good shape. Um, so it, it looks like it came with a hard drive. That's nice. But if we notice here, it's missing the front fan. You'd think it's not. It didn't come with one. There was no front fan and intake for these things because if you notice, the logic board doesn't even span all the way to the end because it's basically an iMac G5 form factor. And um, it's really neat. It's a neat, neat design. It's very underpowered. It's a piece of garbage, honestly, but it's a neat piece of garbage. And uh, they basically just re-engineered the, uh, re the iMac G5 boards and added two extra RAM slots and uh, some PCI slots. And that's it. It's literally an iMac G5 board, and it's the same size as one. It's a really neat system and very, very, very underpowered. Um, it's a joke, really. But it would have been a lot neater if the guy had packed it correctly, which he didn't. And I'm going to be raising hell on eBay. Anyway, so I think uh, I'm, I'm definitely not returning it because it's too rare to return. And if it works, that's even a bonus. But I'm going to have to straighten out the case because this case, like I said, does not... F you can't fit, fit this board in any other case. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to have to straighten the case out. And I'm also going to at least get all of my shipping back. Yeah. Anyway. So, before I end up throwing something, let's end up the, end the video here and say, uh, don't forget, guys, I am now sponsored by SellYourMac.com. So, if you have an Apple device you'd like to sell, just go to SellYourMac.com slash RodKMods and sell them something. It'll help me out and it'll help you out because you'll be making money. Also, don't forget, I do now have a Patreon where I release these videos a day early. And uh, they're usually not this painful to look at. At least that came in one piece. But yeah. Anyway, so that's the end of today's video. And thank you for watching. This has been a Rocky Mods video.